In this lesson, I'll show you how to prove when lines in 3D space are skew lines. The first question reads, show that the lines L1 and L2 with the parametric equations provided underneath are skew lines. And if you take a look at your right, you'll see the two lines are graphed. In case you're not familiar with what skew lines are, that's when you have two lines that do not intersect and are not parallel. Therefore, they do not lie on the same plane. Take a look at this illustration. We have two lines that do not intersect and are not parallel. When you're provided with the parametric equations of a line that's in 3D space, you can extract from these equations the direction vector. So for the first row, we have the parametric equations for one line, and in the second row, we have the parametric equations to another. Take a look at the first row. The coefficient that is being multiplied to t represents the x, y, and z components. So the direction vector here, I'll call it v, v1, has the x component of 1, 1 times t, a y component of 3, and a z component of negative 1. Similarly, for the second row, we have an x component of 2, 1, and 4. You can tell that the lines are not parallel because the corresponding vectors, the ones shown here and here, are not proportional. They would be considered proportional if you can multiply one by a scalar quantity and get the other. In addition, if L1 and L2 had a point of intersection, you should be able to come up with a solution that satisfies all three equations if you were to solve this simultaneously. For instance, take these two equations. I'm going to set both x is equal to each other. 1 plus t is equal to 2s. I'll solve for a variable. Let's solve for t. Bringing that one over, t is equal to 2s minus 1. Similarly, I'll do the same thing here. Minus 2 plus, and I'll substitute this into where I see that t. So 3 times 2s minus 1 is equal to 3 plus s. I'll solve for s, and then substitute what I get for s into this equation to get t. Notice minus 2 plus 6s minus 3 is equal to 3 plus s. Let's solve for s. Bringing all the s terms over, we have minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 is equal to s minus 6s, negative 5 on the right side, and negative 8, divide both sides by negative 5, 8 over 5 is equal to s. I'll substitute this now into here, t is equal to 2 times 8, 16 divided by 5, minus 1, that results in 2, 11 over 5. Now interestingly, if I take these two solutions and substitute them into 4 minus t is equal to minus 3 plus 4s, the left side and the right side will not equal to each other. Therefore, there's no value of t and s that satisfies the three equations. That means the two lines do not intersect. And there you have it. That is how to show that two lines in 3D space are skew lines.